political correctness has gone mad, people say. Not mad enough for me. I think we should be more politically correct. And I'm here in the South Bank to ask people some questions to see how woke they really are. David Attenborough has been narrating documentaries for years, many of them based in Africa. However, he's not a genuine African man. Do you think they should redub David Attenborough documentaries with genuine African voices? <laughs> I think that's a very silly question. I think that's an extremely silly question. For years, mistletoe has meant that women are forced to kiss men against their will. Basically, mistletoe is the Harvey Weinstein of plants, and wow. I think it should be banned. How do you feel about this? I mean, not personally, but people may see it as a joke to go up to mistletoe with a man, or another woman, or another man, a man and a man, man and a woman. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't always have to be a female getting given the mistletoe. Do you know what I'm so true. You're so woke. And um, if I got mistletoe now and put it over your head, how would you feel? Bring it on. Okay, that's maybe for later. Traffic lights, we have a little green man and a little red man. I'm sick of taking instructions from men for all my life. Do you think that we should change it to little green and red women? Absolutely, yeah. Women always know best. And also, I would always listen to women. I don't really like men. So, yeah. Yeah. I actually cross the road dangerously just because it's a man to make a political point. Boris Johnson is Britain's Prime Minister and he has six children. But none of them are BOC. Yeah, exactly, possibly more children. None of his children are BOC, so babies of colour. It's not representing English society, is it? So do you think we should campaign that Boris Johnson's next child will be mixed race? We should force him. Force him to have a mixed race child. Force him. Force him. But then don't you have to have every country, him with every country ever? I think he'd do it. Yeah, you think he'd do it? I think that wouldn't be a problem for him. I think he'd love it. <laughs> Whipped cream. The word has connotations of slavery. Whipped. Do you think we should change that phrase to consensually whisked cream? No. That's ridiculous. I quite like the whipping. Doesn't everyone? <laughs> well, I can't kink shame this one. <laughs> so we'll have to agree that whipped cream stays out of whipped. Whipped.